This video was recorded at Leslie Gissis book signing at Bordentown, New Jersey Multicultural Celebration. It is a video of three individuals and a unique perspective of one historical place which is currently known as the Johnstone Juvenile Detention Center. These gentlemen whose ages span three distinct generations, races, and geographical locations share the unsurpassed commonality of humanity which is an innate instinctive desire to gravitate toward truth. More importantly, their compassion to share their personal spirit of goodwill is an earnest commitment to connect with the broader American humanitarian spirit. The first young man is a lifelong resident of Bordentown. The second gentleman is a direct descendant of an educator of the school known as the Tuskegee of the North or the Manual Training Industrial School, MTIS. The third gentleman is a tourist genealogist from West Virginia. Thank you. Okay, right, oh, okay. we gotta start over. <laughs> Can you, hi, my name is Keith Woodson. I'm from Bordentown, New Jersey. I'm here at Cars Lake Community Center on Crossroads Street for the Food for the Soul event that's going on here. It's August 9th, uh, 2008. I'm originally from Bordentown. I graduated from Bordentown Regional High School back in 1997. I wrestled and went to Lock Haven University. I wrestled there while I was at Lock Haven. The school library there, Stevenson Library in the basement. I went to look through some archive magazines that they have from back in 1920, 1910, 1905. I started looking there back in my junior year, around the year 2000, 1999. Uh, and I found some interesting uh, art advertisements actually for the uh, MTIS in Bordentown uh, Township outside of Fieldsboro where the uh, Johnstone uh, Training Center was located shortly thereafter. Uh, I've been there and I'm very happy to uh, have learned some information concerned in the MTIS and I'm, I'm very happy to be a part of uh, this organization. This is what's going on here today and I definitely appreciate everything that's happened. Uh, my knowledge has been greatly expanded just by talking to everyone that I thought would know anything about the school. Definitely very happy for that. Thank you again. God bless you. Uh, hi, my name is Galen uh, Valley now, but I'm a descendant of my grandfather, uh, Clarence Banks. Clarence Banks came to uh, Fieldsboro, Bordentown area, in I guess about the mid-30s. And uh, he became the teacher of farming and animal husbandry at the Manual Training Institute, uh, what we what the nickname we've nicknamed Old Ironsides uh, in between Fieldsboro and Bordentown. I toured farming there for about 10 years. Um, I have memories that have been uh, oralized um, by my mother and her mother to me about their years on the farm there. Uh, it's, it was very interesting, very rich history that they uh, shared with me, handed down to me. Um, we stayed on in that area after he left the school. Uh, he probably left the school about the time I was born in 1956. Um, during that time, during his tenure there, most interestingly, he, uh, he was sent out on a scouting trip to find a teaching assistant. Uh, and he went out to, I guess, the Midwest, if I remember correctly, maybe Wyoming, and he found Alex Haley's father, and he brought that family to the East Coast. And uh, our family had uh, standing relationships, friendships even, if you will, casual friendships, with the Haley family, uh, my aunt bought a car from uh, Alex Haley's brother, who was named, uh, interestingly, he was named uh, Chicken George after his ancestors that were depicted in the movie. Um, in any case, I, I come back here every year. I come back to the old Ironside School and uh, share the history and, um, and, and really just bask in it. Uh, thank you for your time. Um, 
I, it, it, it seems likely that I'm um, connected with uh, Commodore Stewart, uh, whose estate, Wardentown School, is built upon. And I've been reading up a little bit about the school, about Commodore Stewart, and so I'm very new at this. But I was also interested in Leslie's uh, interest in the school and in what it represents. And uh, about um, playing up and giving more visibility to the relationships. And uh, I've been doing a little research. I've looked at her videos and I've been reading up a little bit about the school, about Commodore Stewart. And so I'm very new at this, but I believe very much in her, in Leslie's vision about um, playing up and giving more visibility to the relationships over history, multi multicultural relationships that worked and that worked well. And I think we can use those models today and I think we can learn a lot from our past about those. So I'm interested in learning more about that and I can see that Leslie's going to be a, a good teacher for me and I'd like to help her out in her endeavors however I can. So. Um, I guess that's about all I have to say at the moment, but I am looking, very much looking forward to, to Leslie's talk. bought his biography so I could read up on it. And, uh, I also have a connection with the Mott Foundation and if, if indeed uh, Stuart is co connected to the Motts and connected to me. Uh, that may give me a, uh, some, some link um, to the Mott Foundation uh, that might be helpful. So, uh, anyhow, I'm very excited about all of this, and thank you for listening.